I held on to my Nintendo Wii for one game and one game only, and that was Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I love this game. I played it in the arcade around when it first came out, as there was an arcade near me that imported the Japanese game in their arcade, and it was fun, man. Me and some guys from work, we would go there every day for the longest time and just have a blast playing this one. The arcade machine was based on Wii hardware. I think it was the only game that used that specific hardware, but for the longest time, I'd hoped for a re-release of this title, but obviously due to the rights with Tatsunoko, that doesn't seem very likely. And it was, you know, on Nintendo-based hardware. So if it did come out, that's why I tweeted this. I want it on the Nintendo Switch. You never know. But, you know, with my small Twitter account, this tweet kind of blew up a little bit. I was surprised. There's a lot of people out there who share the same sentiment and want this game. I didn't realize how popular it was, but there's a lot of people out there. There's actually a Discord that somebody shared, actually Dr. Science, he shared, I'll put a link to this as well, that they do online tournaments of this game through the Dolphin emulator. Definitely check that out. But today what I wanted to do in this video, as this is my first time jumping into Wii emulation, and I really wanted to play this game without any stutters, without any issues, and I just was on it, man. I'm like, okay, let me figure out these settings, let me tweak things, let me test this, test that. So that's what I wanted to do today is showcase this game running through the Dolphin emulator, share with you guys how I got things set up, what specific settings I am using. Hopefully that'll help you out. I mean, it, a lot of it may be dependent upon what your PC is running. I'll put the specs to my PC in the description down below so you can see what I'm working with. So that's where we're at. I just want to give you guys like an idea of how I got this set up. So the Dolphin emulator, download it here, dolphin-emu.org. Link will be down below so you can just easily grab it. I already have that just standalone down here. I'll close that out. But I have a folder on my desktop, Dolphin Master. Going to go ahead and open that up, get into the executable, and then here we go. So within this, you're going to have some options. First thing was is I wanted to get my controller set up. I am using the RetroBit Legacy 16 wireless controller, 2.4 gigahertz. I've been loving this one, man. So I got this set up. And the way I got that set up was I went into options and controller settings. So let, let's get that going real quick. So port one, standard controller. I went to configure. And then from here, I went to, it was, I think it defaulted to keyboard, keyboard mouse. So I went to, you know, my controller, the USB gamepad. And then I went through selected each individual button, left click, and then press that button on here for it to register the way I wanted it. I went through for all the buttons, the D-pad, the control stick, the C-stick, the uh, triggers, all that good stuff, and that was it. I was done with that part of it. My controller was set up and ready to go. Now, the next thing that I really had to mess around with was the graphics settings. So I'm just gonna share what I have it set to right now, because there was a lot of fiddling around with this, to be honest with you, in order for me to get like performance that I was happy with. Now, back end, initially I did have this set to Direct 3D 11, but this could be dependent, you know, on your hardware as well, I guess. I have it set to Direct 3D 12, and that's fine for me. My adapter, I do have it to my RTX 3070, the, the graphics card I'm using. It is recommended use whatever graphics card that you have. Um, don't use the basic render driver, I suppose, is one of the big things. And then I do have VSync on, start and full screen. That way, everything is boom. It's not windowed. And then I do have show FPS right now just so I could, you know, when I was testing the performance, not really necessary to have that on unless you're just wanting to monitor the performance that you have. But I didn't really have any issues with uh, the frames. It was more so with some stutter action that I was getting, some stuttering Stanley action that I wanted to iron out. So what fixed that for me was, you know, going back and forth between 11 and 12 right here. 12 I'm, I'm doing fine with. Um, none, none of these other things do I have set up. Like, I mean, you could like hover over them and it'll tell you what it does. And then a lot of them will say, if unsure, leave this unchecked. So a lot of them was just like, okay, I don't really need to mess with that. Now the shader compilation, this is what I changed in order to get the best performance I could. So I messed around with this a bit. 
I saw people suggesting to use the synchronous Uber shaders, and that seemed to be fine for the most part, but that was the setting that was kind of giving me some stuttering action, it seemed. When I had synchronous Uber shaders on, when I would do a special move in Tatsunoko, it would just stutter. Like the sound more so than anything, it would stutter. When I switched to asynchronous Uber shaders and compile shaders before starting, that kind of ironed it out, it seemed. So those are my settings that I have for general tab. Enhancements, let's take a look at what we have here. So internal resolution, you have several options here. I have it because the monitor I am using is a 1080p monitor. I have it on three times native, uh, 1920 by 1584 for 1080. So, I mean, whatever monitor you're working with, whatever your resolution, you may wanna play with that, see what works best for you. That is what's working for me with the monitor I'm using. Anti-aliasing. Oh man, I actually said it. A lot of times I stumble on that word. So this one, it'll explain. SSAA is significantly more demanding than MSAA, but provides top quality geometry and also applies anti-aliasing to lighting, shader effects, and textures. If unsure, select none. For me, putting it the four times SSAA, has worked just fine. But that's one you may wanna mess with just because, like it says, SSAA is more demanding than an MSAA, so you may wanna mess with that. Anisotropic filtering, I have it set to 16 times. Enables the filtering, which enhances the visual quality of textures that are at oblique viewing angles. Might cause issues in a small number of games. If unsure, just leave it to 1X. I have it at 16X, and it's fine. Post-processing effects, I have off. Scaled EFB copy is checked on. Disable copy fill. I think all these may have been a default and I just left them as is. So that's my enhancement screen. I did mess with this stuff up here. Hacks, I don't believe I have anything set to hacks, but just in case, um, like I don't think I played with any of these settings, but just in case those are the settings on how I have them, if you want to use this video as a starting point, for performance tweakage for your Dolphin setup. And then advance, this is it. Back-end multi-threading uh, and pretty much nothing else enabled. I guess you could play with that stuff, but I, I think I just left this as is. So let's go ahead and test this game out. So I'm gonna click play. Now I do have a WFS. I did have the end kit of the game as well. Um, download these games wherever you know you could download them. I mean, the Internet Archive is your friend, but I cannot link you to game ROMs, but you guys know what's up. Easy enough to find. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then get into the game. So here we go. Got my controller. Going to turn it on. We do have the FPS up top. Kind of small. Might be hard to see. Um, while in-game... It seems to be staying solid at 60 frames per second for the most part. I'm not really having any issues. If you followed my channel for a, you know for a while, I said plenty of times, man. If I'm emulating a game and I have performance issues, I'm just done. Like if I can't fix it, if there's nothing I could do about it, I am not going to play that game. I'm not going to play on that emulator. I I'm just pretty stern with that. But this so far I've had no issues after I'd made those few little tweaks. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Just wanted this to be a quick one, help some people out. So here we go. That Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, man, if you want to play in those tournaments, there you go. But let's go ahead and get into arcade. Man, I, I haven't played this in a while, but I just, man, I, I had so much fun with this back when it first came out. It was one that I just, I really enjoyed and I wish it would be re-released some way, somehow. But playing this through the Dolphin emulator definitely got me intrigued with this. I, you know, want to look at more as far as emulation goes. But here we go. Let's uh, let's get this party started. Looking pretty solid. Graphics are looking nice. What do I need a re-release for when it just looks so nice playing on my PC, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. I want to do like a special so you could see um, one of my biggest issues, like I said, was the stuttering action but it, it does seem like that has all been ironed out. Uh, being new to the Dolphin emulator, I mean, I welcome anybody else's suggestions in the comments as far as uh, the best settings, what certain things mean, 
anything else that you would recommend to use as far as, uh, you know, playing these games. Boom. Okay. Get over here. There we go. This one would always stutter. Nope, we are good. Man, I gotta. I, I'm kind of. I'm kind of rusty at this game, but it, it got me where I'm like, dude, I, I got to get back into this, uh, get back down in it, and start playing again. I can't. Couldn't get up there. Ah. There we go. Got him. <laughs> but I hope this video helped, man. Like, I just wanted to do this quick one to share my settings, my uh, Wii emulation adventures. Like I said, I usually just emulate, like, really old school stuff. And I've never bothered with the Wii before, but I, I just, man, this game was on my mind, and I just had to jump into it. Ugh. Ah, bastard. So I hope this uh, this helped. Really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Hit that like button. Subscribe. We're gonna have plenty more videos on emulation stuff, man. It's all about them options. Thank you. Peace out. Big ass thumb button in your face. Bye bye and boom. Bye.